Which crafter doesn't love a cute mushroom for their journal? <laughs> I have plenty of those. Circles, on the other hand, are a more challenging subject. So, December 22, mushroom and a circle. Welcome to Defemember, your daily inspiration for making ephemera in December, in collaboration with Luisa Heinzel. And this is Barbara from Vienna, Austria. Two things before we get started. And one is, you remember this tag that we made together yesterday for the prompt? When I was editing the video, I realized that there was one more thing I wanted to add, and maybe you can already see it here. It's the copper wire around this tree branch, because I was thinking of this one that I did on December 1 with the playing card prompt. And you know how I put wire around this real branch here so when i saw this branch i just thought this definitely needed wire so all i did was i poked holes first with my awl and then i just wrapped the wire around it through the card and then i just wrapped the wires around each other to secure them and then put this masking tape over it just to be sure that there's no injury from the wire so i really like that feature on this but then what happened is and maybe you can see it do you remember how we made some beautiful gold splatters here and do you see what happened here so i realized when i was putting on the wire that this gold was rubbing off do you see this and it's very strange because when i look at this tag that we made it doesn't. On this one, of course, we have the matte medium. On this one, we don't. Even here where we have the matte medium, look what's happening. It's completely rubbing off. So that is completely useless. So I cannot leave it like this because I don't want something to come off this card when it's in my journal. So what I'm going to do is, maybe I should get rid of this first. We will come back to this in a minute. So I'm thinking I need to rub all of this off. Interestingly, some of the splatters are staying and some of them are just completely rubbing off. Now, I don't know, can you see some of the spots are still there and some have like completely rubbed off like here. So if you buy this from Flying Tiger, beware that this is something that can happen. So instead, we're going to just use black acrylic paint. We know that works. We know that doesn't come off. And that will be also a beautiful contrast here. I should again cover the sentiment and his eye. I might even like this better now. Love it. So now we have some gold shimmer and we have black splatters. Best of two worlds. <laughs> I really like how these two go together. I love that they both have some similar elements in them. Another thing I realized when I was editing this video now was that I think I want to add some machine stitching in black around this. So I will do that now quickly. So when I went to the sewing machine, I saw that I don't have the black thread in the machine, but I still had the turquoise one from the page tab. So I thought, let's just go with that. And I actually like how that looks. And then <laughs> the thread here opened where I had made the double knot. So guess what? I stapled it on the top here now. <laughs> And I just hope this will stay. <laughs> there's, there's something going on with this tag. <laughs> I'm going to get some gummies before I get started with the mushrooms. More Christmas gummies. <laughs> so to recap, we have mushrooms and we have circles. The first thing I think of when I think of round elements are my CD covers that I've had for years. 
I've used my white ones. So all these very obnoxious colors <laughs> are left. <laughs> and I'm thinking the least obnoxious is here, this yellow. And I think with a coffee spray, this might turn into an acceptable color. <laughs> Actually, instead of the spray, I'm just going to brush the coffee on. And I'll also add some of this. This was <laughs> where we mixed the coffee with the Distress Oxide Refiller. And you might be wondering, why do I have so little in here? This thing was basically full. Yes, it was before I spilled it all over my crafting desk and almost on my laptop. So yeah, <laughs> everyone's okay, it's all right. <laughs> this looks very interesting right now to try to keep it in a positive light. <laughs> Not to say it looks horrible. All right, we'll try this and see what it will look like then. Um, note to self, do not use <laughs> Do not use the heat gun on anything that has plastic on it because then this happens. <laughs> okay then, thankfully I have a few more. <laughs> now obviously I don't have time to wait for this to dry. It looks like it could have been okay in the end, but I don't have time to wait. So I need to find another solution. We're off to a brilliant start, I would say. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get a similar effect with our vintage photo distress oxide. See, some of the drops of my mixture came here and it looks awesome. But I just don't have the time. Maybe I'll put a few drops on afterwards just a few small ones that will dry quickly maybe i should just accept the yellow you know like accept the things you cannot change <laughs> no but we can change it that's the thing we can okay this is this is acceptable but i do think i want a few drops because that just looks so cool Whoops. <laughs> okay, let it go, let it go. <laughs> I did dab them a little bit because I could not wait for everything just to dry, but I think that looks really nice now. I'm, I'm very happy with this. Unfortunately, I do need to do this for the back as well since I might want to like hinge that or something in my journal so we can't have this side looking all beautiful and grungy and this side all new and horrible. <laughs> so I'll just do the same thing on the back. So here's the back. Now it's just as beautifully grungy as the front. I have five different mushroom digitals in my shop. So one has these cute vintage book pages. One has this clip art. I think this might be my most favorite. And then there's one that has two pages. So this is one of them. And this is then the second page. These are also really fun. And then I have some autumn themed circle images and some of them of course also have mushrooms so this is a master board in the background so in theory i could just cut one of these out and say that's the prompt <laughs> obviously i'm not going to do that but what i am going to do is i'm going to give you another goodie there are four different digitals because these two go together so all of these four digitals are now 50 percent for you and what you will need is the code defemorember mushroom. And that will be valid from today, December 22nd, for a week. So until December 29th, end of day, Central European time. 
and you will find these linked below in the description box and i hope you enjoy them i found these two that i had already cut out for something else so i thought well let's just use one of these for our prompt today this is maybe too yellow on yellow so i think this one would be very cute and I thought, well, maybe we can even integrate another round element. I have no idea if this is going to work. So one could be this doily. So this one is coffee dyed. And what you see here is some of my, I think, sepia ink that I added while it was still wet. So that looks very cool. The other option is maybe to add one of these doilies in the background. So this is a printable of mine as well. I will link that for you as well down below. So let's try maybe these first. It totally might not work. I have not tried it previously. Like that could work actually. That would be super cute. Maybe if I try that with this one. No, I actually like the colorful one better. Or we try it with um, with the doily. I definitely want some of this grunginess showing, but this might be too big. Or oh, that could also be really cute. Actually, I think I like this one better. Okay, then let's trim this. Mm -hmm. Should we maybe wrap it around? Yeah, we could just wrap that around. I want to ink up the edges of the mushroom. Okay, I think that's really cute. We could also cut some of the mushrooms off. Is there a point in that? I don't know. Well, we can still decide that. I also have some fibers here that I might try to include this here i think looks so fun i bought that in my art store i have no idea what it's called unfortunately but it shrinks when it gets hot so obviously it's plastic it's not nat natural fiber unfortunately and you can tear it apart oh maybe even on front like this I'm liking that. And then I have cheesecloth. I'm not sure how this one is dyed. This one was gifted to me. And this one I have dyed with coffee. I haven't used cheesecloth in such a long time. So that's why I thought this might be a chance to use some of it. Oh, this is the kind that doesn't tear. Okay. I'll just cut it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I want some of it peeking out from underneath. And for more variety, we could actually also add a little piece of this one. I love this one. I wish I knew where to get beautiful cheesecloth like this. It seems to have multiple layers. Super cool. Mm -hmm. Liking this. Should we try adding a piece of gold foil? <laughs> Chocolate gold foil. I like it. I'm going to attempt to glue everything down, but I think I'm not yet going to glue it onto the sleeve here. I'll first glue everything onto each other. This is going to be a bit tricky. I'll first put some glue on the foil here. I'm using textile glue. Try to squish those on there. Then we need to put the foil on the mushroom. I feel like I'm, I'm trying to operate on something. <laughs> I'm being so 
so careful. Okay, then maybe we start working from the back to the front. Let's add some glue here. First add this one, and then this one. Okay, and then we can glue this on. And now I would need to make the decision whether to cut it off. Yeah, let's cut it off so that we see more of this. While that's drying, I want to add something here in the background because I don't like this plain yellow background inside. So I'm going to use a piece of this gorgeous wallpaper. If I didn't have wallpaper, I would use either a digital or some other scrapbook paper. Or even a book page would be cute. Let's see if I can put this in. a tiny bit peeking out here but we can just cut that that looks better and I don't want the back side to be completely plain either but I don't want to add another mushroom because I want this thing to be the main folk like the main thing on this piece of ephemera so maybe we'll just add some scraps and see what that looks like maybe we don't have a focal point Now this is of course where all the stuff, all the scraps that we've been painting on the side come in super handy. I think we do need some more gold foil. I'm totally happy just with this accent here on the back. So I'll just glue that down. I just remembered our tickets. <laughs> Remember these? And I thought maybe we want to add one of these here because I haven't used a lot of these. Yeah, I think I want to do that. And also I've been neglecting my urban elements, so definitely need one somewhere. And I also haven't added a cogwheel in a long time. So looking at my box here, I have some brown ones, which are nice. Oh, there's a beige one too. That would be nice, but maybe not enough contrast. Black, I think might be a bit much. Nope, I don't like that one. There's a cut one here. This one is great. And that also helps hold the fibers down. So that's really cool. I love that. My reason for not having glued this down to the front side yet was because I was actually going to do some hand stitching here on the bottom to make sure that these fibers stay where they are, like some crosses or something. But with this cogwheel on top now, I don't think I want to do that. So I think I will just glue that down because I think there's enough going on here. I don't think I need any stitching. Yep, so I'm just going to glue this down now. Using my art glitter glue with the fine tip because, you know. <laughs> no, I don't like the wrapping now, so we'll just cut this off. And the mushroom as well. I will leave these for now. I can always cut them off if they are somehow hindering a flip or something. I was just going through my ephemera and I found this cute little flower. Love it so much with the, with the beautiful script. And I thought, how cool does that look here? So I really like that, but then I found something else. Remember this cute little guy that we didn't put on one of our tea cards? Remember the ones with the eggs? It didn't fit there. But what do you say to this? 
I think he needs to go right there. He is adorable. So he found a new home. That makes me so happy. <laughs> How cool is it that little things like that can make us happy? Because I know you can relate to this. Okay, now it's perfect. I just love it. <laughs> Actually, what I was looking for was for something that maybe I could put up here. I don't know if I want to do that, but I want to try it out. So I found these little birds here. And I thought maybe one of them could be cute up there with a little cluster. So let's cut them out. I would still have this. I wouldn't lose this. And see if we like that. Here they are, two cuties. Now I will put something underneath. So I think the size is good. I just really need to keep in mind that, for example, if I want to hinge it on this side, then I can't have anything sticking out here on the edge because that's not going to work. If I have something sticking out on the top, it should be no problem because we can still open this flap okay so that is important to keep in mind now obviously the yellow here kind of disappears because we have yellow here so without anything underneath it's definitely him also because this color is so similar to the fibers i have here but let's put something underneath maybe even this flower no that's too much no 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 it's too much going on maybe some more cheesecloth Oh, well, that might be cute. Maybe some ledger paper underneath. Actually, he should be looking down to this guy, right? Is it too much? No, it's not too much. I'm going to glue this down. And I've also decided that this little guy is going to go on this one here. I know I said I didn't want to put an image here, but he's just too cute not to put there. <laughs> I don't know yet what I'm going to put inside. I will leave that decision for another day. I'd say this is a successful completion of prompt number 22, mushrooms and circle. Oh, we haven't even have another circle here. Yay. <laughs> so tomorrow we have lace, timetable or calendar. That sounds like an interesting challenge because I have no idea what to use as timetable or calendar. Well, stay tuned for that then. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Hope to see you back here tomorrow. I love you guys.